Hi folks, a quick update on two new additions to my uh, solar power system. I have added a voltage triggered relay that I got from AliExpress. And what this does is when the voltage on my batteries reaches 28 volts, which is as far as I charge it, I've got my charge controller set to only go up to 28 to keep the batteries nice and comfortable. When the battery does reach 28, then this triggers um, a relay which diverts one of my solar panels on the roof, one of my 250 watt solar panels, to divert from, instead of going into the main solar charge controller, it races off to this grid tie inverter, which I had um, not really doing much. And then uh, at the bottom end, when the voltage on the battery goes down below 27 volts, uh, it switches back the solar panel to drive into the solar charge controller. So in midsummer, this is going to be going off to the inverter pretty much all the time. In midwinter, it's going to be running through the, running the solar panel through the charge controller pretty much all the time. And in spring and autumn, when uh, you get a little bit more variability, then this will automatically switch between the, the controller and the grid tie inverter. So that saves me having to do this manually. Uh, which is quite nice. And then um, I mentioned to my friend John the other day that I didn't have an ammeter running on the load, so I didn't have a, um, a good handle on what the various bits and pieces were doing uh, in terms of how much drain they were they're taking on the system. In the ideal world, I'd, ha I'd have a, a monitor that fed wirelessly to the house so that I could keep an eye on things all the time. But um, in the absence of that, because I'm still working on that, uh, an ammeter is a really good simple way of, of seeing what the load is doing. And uh, so I mentioned this to my mate and he went and had a look through his garage full of potentially useful items and this is what he came up with. It's an old avometer, which back in the day, these used to be the duck's guts, as David Jones would say. Um, a nice high precision piece of equipment. It goes, it can run up to three kilovolts AC and three kilovolts DC. It's a grunty piece of equipment. Um, in my situation, I've only got it run, running um, 10 amps on the 10 amp current range and uh, so what it's telling me right now is that I'm draining at just over 3 amps um, and that's the inverter, the web server, the router and the lights in the garage um, is what's producing that 3 amps and when I plug in one of the electric bikes that jumps up to um, with all those loads, it jumps up to about six and a half, maybe seven amps. And that's about my maximum load uh, with my current setup, which I'm comfortable with. Uh, once I get the BMS running, then I'll feel more comfortable about doing more demanding loads. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of funny having that sitting up there with all the other... Um, equipment but uh, it sits in there quite nicely and uh, tells me what the current is so uh, why not oh uh, that's all for now thanks for watching cheers